Hello YouTube, how are you doing? This is The Windows Are Gone, a horror game by Scary Cube, who previously developed the Building 71 incident. And if you remember anything about that, you remember that it's really good and I really enjoyed it. That video is also on the channel, so you want to check it out, that'd be great. If you like this, I'm uh, ex I'm expecting a bit of a wild ride here, and I hope you uh, enjoy it as well. If you like this, please consider liking it and subscribing. But without further ado, let's dive straight in. It's, it's gone into like, it went into like weird cinematic mode. Start. It's assets.exe. In my dreams, I see this house. Silent Hill. <laughs> you said you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. Oh my God, this is really good. So far, this is really good so far. I feel it calling for me. Perfect. Perfect art style for a horror game. Ever since the accident. Turn it down in my ears, it's really loud. <laughs> This new headset's great, apart from the fact that it blows my eardrums off every time I use it. Oh. God damn it, question results. I need to give you power to do that. Whatever I do, whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Mariana Cross? <laughs> God help it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I answered it. And I went, ahoy, ahoy. You love the resurgence of PS1 style graphics in modern games? Yeah, me too. I love it when they say this is a PS1 style game and it looks like it could kick the shit out of every PS1 game we originally played back in the day. <laughs> like, you didn't get none of this on PS1. Like, none of it. Uh, okay. Hey, honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go, couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? That's really, that's genuinely really nice. Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, Mariana Cross, right? <laughs> sorry, I'll stop that, I'm sorry. Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I am on my way there now. Actually, I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. I love you too, is normally the response to that. This is lovely. What does this remind me of? <gasps> Fears to fathom. That's what it reminds me of. Press M to pick up a map of the house. Oh, my Lord. Oh, dear. yes. Nice. I can walk and look at the map at the same time. Uh, am I... Grab and inspect. Grab. This box has upstairs guest bedroom on it. This box has ma upstairs master bedroom and living room written on it. Can I grab? Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm choosing to do, oh, wait, what was this? I've completely forgotten what this says. Living room. Oh, I don't know where I'm going now. Can I run? No. Do I have to move in? Right, can I drop that there? M, living room, front porch, straight into the living room. Cool. You can probably figure out, but I would like to... Oh, come on, you can do that. You're a strong man. You're going to push that open. Living room. Sweet. Put it in a corner. <gasps> a videotape. A vi oh, I can. Inspect. A VHS tape labeled number one, my family. I could probably take this to the VHS player and play it. I will do that. Oh my god, I can can I crouch? No. I will do that, in fact. Is this the VHS player? This is the VHS player. Ooh. As the VHS starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of the house. Continue. 
His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. Oh, sweet. Uh, they both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. It's delightful, in fact. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like that there's an underlying tension. I sense a sense of unease that's hard to describe. That's the VHS filter. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. Pessimist. It feels like happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it with an oath. Tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. Are you an author? Because you're seeing a lot of subtext here. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. Projection much? Are you, are you okay, dude? I mean, you've just been through something pretty rough. So the tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls on the ground while the mother tends to the crying boy. The father, disingenuous smile, family fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness. As if he caught me prying on his personal life, the tape ends. Get used to words. Okay. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. You literally are. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Cool. They missed the show, don't tell memo. Uh, how do I phone? Uh, I? Inventory? One, two, three. No. How? Where is phone? Is it in the car? P? Phone? Wait, sorry, was that? No. Where's... I don't know how to... Oh, I can run. Fuck, I can fly. Never mind run. How... Where is... I heard a text, but... I don't know where my phone is, so... Oh, that was like a spaceship up there then. Right. Inspect. Upstairs, master bedroom. Upstairs, guest bedroom. Upstairs. Upstairs. Downstairs office. Grab that one. Oh, I can't remember when I'm holding something. Who parks van so far away from the veranda when moving? This dude. Uh, map. Office. Uh, downstairs office. Through, right, and through the hallway. Cool. Grab. This way. You could 100% do that. Open this door. Grab. Turn this up very slightly. Grab. Off arse. Oh, wow. Did I just nearly fall through that carpet then? No. Office. Beautiful. Nice office. God damn. Um. What was this? This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if there's a key somewhere on the house. Kick it in and replace the door. That's all you need to do. It's your house now. Yeah. Oh god. Yum. Yeah. Did I have a phone? Q. E, R, tab. Oh, tab! Of course it is. All right, be careful on the road. Love you, E. Everything good? Reply, F. Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. This phone, though. Is that it? Oh, my God. That's amazing. Right. Any more for downstairs? Uh, inspect. Downstairs bathroom. Upstairs. Right, so downstairs bathroom. Can I just put this... Wait, why can't I put this here? Dude's got a Motorola. Dude has got a Motorola. Uh, right, put it here. Downstairs bathroom is... Okay, left. That way. Oh, crap. On the toilet? No. Oh, it's a, it's a bidet. <laughs> That's a nice shower. I mean, the this is stereotypical of like 60s kind of... Uh, interesting. Uh, 60s um, kind of 
Oh, utensils? Utilities, that's the word I'm looking for. Utilities. Oh, delight. This is, are we sure this is a horror game? This feels delightful. This is like unpacking in first person. Dude installed a bidet for our toilet a couple of months ago. First time ever using one. Genuinely life changing. I have never used one. I've only been in one house that's used one and it doesn't work. So I've honestly never used one. It's a weird thing, right? It's This is giving me one of the strange conversations. I watched a uh, video of someone saying, isn't it weird that the, the part of our body that is the dirtiest we just rub with dry paper and just hope for the best whereas every other part of our body we wash like obviously we wash our ass right but i mean you should if you don't you should please do wash your ass public public safety announcement wash your assholes um but like when you're finished on the toilet you just dry paper it and you're fine like sandpaper right whereas one of the reasons behind that is um societal acceptance and choice of products so societal acceptance i'm not using wet toilet paper no one uses wet toilet paper that's for babies and product choice you look at the toilet paper section of a supermarket and it's wall-to-wall -wall dry toilet paper and there's one little tiny section of wet toilet paper or wet wet wipes for for grown-ups basically uh grab so there's just no there's no overall acceptance of it. It's weird, right? It's not it's not funny, it's not sort of insightful, it's just weird. It's one of those things. Uh inspect. Upstairs master bedroom. Where is upstairs master bedroom? Greeny green. Thought they block the thought they block the toilet. That was the excuse we always heard at work. And it, it it could be. It could be that they block the toilet. Um but then surely Maybe that's the maybe that's the thing. Like uh, a lot of cleaning wipes nowadays, you can now throw in the toilet in the bathroom because they are degradable. You know, they are um, what's the term? Soluble. That's it. eventually soluble anyway. Otherwise, you have those big like fatbergs that sit around in sewers. Also, hi Greeny Green, how you doing, mate? Um, oh, flip upstairs, master bedroom. Upstairs to the right. That's what we're using before the bidet. Fantastic. You're enlightened. I like it. You're living in the future. You're like the Japan of my chat. <laughs> hey, speaking of Japan, there you go. <laughs> Greeny greens on it. <laughs> Master bedroom. Huge fucking bedroom. POV, you're in an American house. This would cost millions in the UK. Why is this door open? Nope, that's fine. The clean book club. <laughs> uh, and I wanted this. What's this one now? Inspect. Upstairs guest bedroom. Oh, bollocks. I should have checked where the guest bedroom was. So that's the... Oops. Flip it. Flip it. Uh, guest bedroom. Upstairs, guest bedroom. So it's just the first doorway down the hall. Got it. Hello. Hmm. Grab. I never liked putting cardboard boxes on the floor when we moved in. I don't know why we had... To, to be fair, this room itself was the the box room. The room of boxes when we first moved in. Because um, it was easier to bring things downstairs. And I'm not saying like we had all the kitchen stuff on the top floor. but So we're on three floors, right? Um, and I'm not saying we had all the kitchen stuff on the top floor. But like all the stuff from upstairs went up here. Because it was a mishmash of... But we only had two floors in a previous house. So we didn't really know where to put stuff. So when we first moved in, I mean, also we had some movers to do some of the heavy lifting as well. We just got them to put all of the upstairs stuff. Like it was easier to bring like bedroom and bathroom stuff downstairs a floor rather than take it upstairs, you know? Uh, inspect. 
kitchen. That's a downstairs one. I don't know if this is this transferable to the UK, but we changed the name of the master bedroom to primary bedroom because master bedroom has slavery origins. Oh, I see. Wow. I think it's still called master bedroom because fucking Brexit. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. No, I think it's just called Master Bedroom because of... Um, uh, it's just... It, it, oh, hello. It's it's always been called Master Bedroom, if that makes sense. But you're right. It absolutely pro it probably stems from that. Hi! Wow. You're like... Who's that exercise person? Richard someone? Not Simmons. Anyway, hi. Hello there. You must be the new neighbor. Uh, yes, I am. Lovely. She awkwardly pauses for a second. I'm so, uh, what? I'm sorry. Is this going to be one of those POV? You're speaking to a weeb in chat. Like, oh, he twiddles his finger through his hair under his fedora. Say nothing. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is quite a little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes, sure. You make sure you visit the... Uh, the what? Oracurus Park. What? When you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. And... <laughs> on point. Questionable results. Absolutely on point with the fucking awkward fart. Well... <laughs> Mariana is quite a little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh yes, make sure you visit the Echoes Park. Well, yeah, I said that already. Then you, then you farted. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. Uh, but that being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. What? Sorry, what? You look familiar. Do I know you? Or continue? Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Can I help you with anything? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house, isn't, house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you some special, something special as a welcome gift. Legitimately never, never accept this. Uh, oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. You didn't have to. Uh, you got here pretty quickly, huh? Oh, thank you. You didn't have to. I mean, it's nice. I think you're going to love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You got inside the house. Ominous music. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? Oh, this house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right, then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just stay here this time, please, okay? She smiles and nods. Leave conversation. I am gonna go back. I can't leave. I am gonna shut my fucking door and block this. Oh, I can't pick it up. No! I was gonna block it with a box. Am I literally gonna have to go and eat some random pastry that wasn't here 30 seconds ago? It's a plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Mm, yeah, delicious. I'm not fucking eating that. I've played enough first to fathom to know I'm not eating that. Mmm, delicious, thanks. Make sure you try some of the pastry I made for you, will you? It's on the kitchen counter. I'm sure you'll all fuck me. Yeah, cool, why not? Yeah, cheers. I'll just go poison myself. That'll be... I mean, real smart. I always have this weird thing, like, if a, a neighbor knocks on my door, like, if I moved somewhere and a neighbor knocks on my door, I'm like, oh, I baked you this freshly baked pastry or something like that. I'd be like, okay, cool, thanks. And I'd be really nice about it, don't get me wrong. And I'd take it inside. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, it was delicious. Like, a couple of days later or whatever, they saw me. Like, oh, that was, that was yummy, delicious, thanks. I ate fucking all of them. Absolutely scarfed them down. Um, but the second I got behind closed doors, that shit is going in the bin. Because I don't trust people. Read note. The note just says, welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? <gasps> where did she go? Where did she go? She's inside the house. Right? I, best thing I saw was... Uh, oh, 
As I unloaded the boxes in my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with the odd encounter with the neighbour, made me realise I was exhausted. That's the fucking drugs. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. I hope it's your bed and not, like, the bed that came with the house. That literally happened when you bought your house? Yeah, I would, I would not. The best thing I saw, um... Who who did it? I can't remember who did it. If it was someone... I think it was a neighbour who... Another neighbour... They went out and bought a dessert for them. Like, they bought them a pie, but it was like a sealed pie, like, from a shop. And I'm like, that that is what you fucking do. That is, that is unopened. It's in fucking a box, and it's got wrap in the box i'm like that is that is safety that is what you do because it's not that I, do, I don't trust people like that it's not that i'm like oh someone's gonna poison me or anything like that but i'm like i don't know what they've put in it you know uh it's sure lie down well it's the worst that could happen ah the woman's just next to me in the bed check for needle holes they could still inject something that's true that's very true i i would like to think the fuck is happening here? Oh, I'm just sorry. My cursor has appeared on screen for no reason. <laughs> I thought the game had crashed. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Probably because I was finally here. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever... I don't know if I've ever, like, checked something for needle marks. I always... Like, whenever I buy something sealed from the shop, I always give it a, a gentle squeeze. Like, if I'm buying a drink or milk or something like that, or food that's in a wrap or something, like, I'll give it a squish. You know, I'll give it the safety squish. Uh, I, am, I, am I driving? Am I, oh, hello. Look at, look at wife. Talk. Look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Oh, this is what happened. This is the incident. I can do... I'm the exorcist. Sorry. I find myself in a car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, you're going to be okay. Yes, just avoid your bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there? Yeah, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway's blocked. Now please hurry. All right, I will hold on tight. Me, Fucking go. Go for it. This is going to end horribly, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Je what's going on? Jessica? Jessica? Oh, ah, 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 ah. I'm driving through tomato soup and I don't know why. Am I supposed to be looking at something else? Oh no, okay. <laughs> it's just a flash room, it should be fine, it should be fine, it's fine. Her water didn't break, it fucking exploded. God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was sleeping. Where is it coming from? The bath, maybe? Also, what this alluded to at the beginning of the game, right? Never feel pressured into going to a funeral. That is, that is some rough shit, right? That is heavy. And if you don't feel ready to go, don't at all. Uh, I speak, as someone who's been to the funerals of both their parents... Like, I didn't go to the funeral of my grandmother, and that, that, no problem with that whatsoever. But that's like, if you're not ready to, you're not ready to. Well, it's not this one. Is it in here? No. Wait, where, where the... Is it this... No. Cat. Dude, you could be stuck. 
yeah, if you're not ready to go, you're not ready to go. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. No one can make you go. And they should respect that. Like, if you're just, like, blatantly, like, I don't want to go, it's going to be boring. But if it's going to be too painful, then... Oh, it's got a bit deep, didn't it? <laughs> oh, it's coming from downstairs. Basement? Videotape? Uh, tape number two, the accident. I could take this to the VHS player. We'll take it then. Huh. Inspect. Oh, great. There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Fucking same boat, friend. Same boat. Have a funeral next week. I don't mind going, but I don't want to go shopping for black trousers this weekend for it. No one wants to go shopping for No one wants to go shopping for a funeral suit. Like, I've still got a funeral suit. I've been probably to more funerals than I would like to have been to. But I've, or I've I've still got like the point in your life where you're like, that's now my funeral suit. Like everyone, every, well, I don't know about everyone, but like people who grew up around me were like, I got I got that one suit. That's it. Like, I'll, I'll wear it for special occasions. And then suddenly out of nowhere, you're just like, oh, shit, that's my funeral suit. Because <laughs> either you buy another suit for whatever reason, or you never wear that suit unless it's for a funeral. You know. Uh, but buying an old house, yep, same. Hmm, I get the weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise, maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake the odd feeling I have when thinking about it. It's fucking damp, man. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. That is, <laughs> that's, you've, you've never done any DIY on an old house, clearly, man. You've clearly never done DIY. You're just like, oh, well, shit, this could fall. The, the floor could fucking collapse by tomorrow. We're going to do something. Where is that coming from? Also, why is my door open? Also, why have I still not bought any more boxes in? As someone who only wears short suits are a nightmare to me. I have a real... I... I... I, I can't take any of these in. This is so, so weird. I am... Um, I used to have to wear like a suit to work. Uh, Greeny Green will attest to this. Suit, suit clothing, smart casual clothing, because we used to work together. Um, and I used to hate it, like I proper hated it. Uh, and more recently, oh, it's in this room. It's whatever's in here. Um, more recently, I could wear casual stuff to work. And I realized after a number of years, I was like, I think I hate jeans. Like, I genuinely think I hate jeans. Obviously, lockdown happened, right? And then everyone wore joggers. Everyone wore loose-fitting trousers, like gray sweatpants, etc. Was this always open? Yes. So I'm just going to bed. Now, I'm, I'm just going to leave that dripping noise. I'm going to go to bed. No, Don't know what's in that room. Don't care. Not my problem, right? Cool. Just go to bed. Sweet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I realized I hated jeans. And the reason I hated jeans was because a, a long time ago, I injured my spine. Um, and I had real problems with the base of my back. And let's move my mouse out of the way a sec. I realized jeans were just too, slightly too heavy in certain places that they would actually, when I was walking, pull on my hips. And they would like pull part of my back a, a funny way. So I'd never get comfortable in them. And the fact that I have, I have pretty big legs, right? I used to be like... 30 something stone which i think is like 400 500 pounds or something like that when i was younger when i was a teenager so understandably my legs are strong right which means whenever i try and wear tight fitting trousers i hello i nearly hulk out of them every time i wear like normal normal people trousers um because my calves are huge <laughs> It's, it's not a flex, actually. In fact, it's an annoyance, right? My calves are massive, so whenever I like lean lean down or bend to get something, I'm like, oh, I can feel the stitching in the side of my trousers. Um, dude, same, exactly, right? D big big dudes know the difference, like you know, you just like, I, I, it's not that I I hate it. Like you see dudes on social media being like, oh, I wish I could grow my calves. I'm like, I kind of wish mine were a little smaller. 
like to be honest with you um but yeah so started wearing like loose clothing and stuff like that and recently realized that um just like baggy trousers like skater-esque trousers are the way forward because they're sort of smart enough to wear on a daily basis but also so comfy and they give everything a lot of breathing room <laughs> do you know what i mean legs waist everything um and even like if i if i rock up to work wearing them like i'll occasionally get a second glance but people are just like huh baggy trousers <laughs> which is fortunate to be honest with you um just get some shorts. I do have some shorts, but in the winter months, I do like to wear something that covers the bottom half of my legs. But I do wear shorts more often than I would I would like to admit. Uh, good morning, son. Your mum told me you arrived in Mariana, Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. Is that it? Okay, sweet. This man is preaching over this. exactly why I wear shorts all the time. I can never feel comfortable in pants, yeah. That's fair enough. Uh, e? I know, I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the box in yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Sweet. <laughs> I haven't worn shorts in many years. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Princess Peter, what's up? Sup, I can't hear you because I'm at work, but I wanted to say hi, and also I hate shorts. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesse, you've been found out, friend. <laughs> you've been discovered. <laughs> Why is she going to do you like that? <laughs> so I'm just going to get my phone or I can just report an assault on ch in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call the fucking Burns unit. Someone's been roasted. <laughs> uh, grab. But yeah, no, I do wear shorts. My favourite at the minute is um, I, I shop a lot on a site called EMP, uh, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's like an EMP pulse, right? But uh, it's, that's how it's spelled. But it's like um, metal merch and uh, music and um, band stuff. Uh, grab it. Uh, but I end up wearing, uh, I've got a really nice pair of Slipknot shorts that I wear a lot. Like they're three quarters and they look really nice. And I'm I'm kind of, I'm trying to go for sort of like the smart alt look, if that makes sense. Like just like alt enough so that people, people who know, know. And then like you're comfortable, but also rocking a pretty decent band garb. Uh, inspect. Upstairs master bathroom. Yeah, I can do that one. I wish I could run when I'm carrying this box. I mean, in fairness, I probably don't wish I could run because I don't want my character to hurt himself. You had no idea I was a metal fan. I've been a metal fan for many, many years. Many, many years. Uh, crap. Uh, in fact, I'm wearing a Five Finger Death Punch hoodie. Uh, metal's not my only love. For a long time, I, I got really concerned like i could only like metal and no other music and then i i realized i was probably about probably quite late actually probably like mid 20s late 20s hope says guest bathroom i was like oh wait i don't give a shit what people think about my music tastes like i was listening to bill withers today who i don't know if you've, if you've heard of Bill. if you've ever heard any relaxing soul music you've probably heard bill withers right that's all i'm gonna say um Bill Withers slaps. See? Fucking Bill Withers. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe I put on a playlist while I was cooking the other day and it was a Bill Withers playlist. And I was like, wow, I can't believe he's done it. basically all the relaxing songs from my childhood. He did them all. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I gotta get AirPods or something so I can just listen while I work at my dumb job. No one's gonna, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. How will they know? No one's gonna know. Um, upstairs main hallway. Got it. I'm on it. Wait, hang on. Stop. Stop doing the. Stop doing the thing. Go back down to the basement. Get the VHS. Get the verse. Grab the verse. Grab the verse. Good. That's got. That's got far worse. Never leave something dripping overnight. I. I. How? How does your? 
fucking brain work never leaves something down. Made me, that made me physically unwell. That's... <laughs> I just choked in homeowner. That's what I did. Put that in there. A metal fan, eh? Do you like steel or perhaps copper? I'm a fan of titanium. <laughs> the tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with a camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the background. The tape is slightly damaged, so I can make out most of what's happening. Unfucking necessary expositional comment there. Aluminium, hey. I love how I say aluminium in America, and everyone's like, "What did he say?" Uh, for a few, it's like um, oregano. Uh, for a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. Also a decent band. Uh, his words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. That's the murders. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster terrible events that he thinks about to occur wait that he thinks is about to occur to his family he is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground he starts crying carefully covering his mouth so no one notices him he mentions the terrible event will be his fault watching him i can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow it's as if he knows that I'm here watching this, and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then, why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Remove tape. Perhaps iron. Maiden! See what he did there? I like it. I like your style. Uh, I used to watch Top Gear a lot, so aluminium doesn't doesn't phase my american brain that's fair enough i used to watch top gear and then i realized it was run by absolute cunts uh and i just don't watch it anymore inspect upstairs storage i think that's a thing i think as as young youngsters i suppose <laughs> boob lights sorry <laughs> i'm so mature <laughs> titties um as youngsters top gear is fun do you know what i mean uh but you start so start to realize actually they're all quite horrible people. Like maybe apart from Richard Hammond, but even he has sort of some questionable shit going on. But like you, you actually take a cold like separately. You take a look at the the hosts, and you're just like, no, don't don't really vibe with any of those. And it's very much. Oh, I didn't read what this box was. It's very much the the show that you're watching rather than the actual people. Uh, upstairs main hallway. Got it. Uh. And he smashed myself in the face. That's why you stop watching. No, that's fair enough. Like, 100% not to judge people who watch it. If you watch it and you enjoy it, fucking go for it. Do you know what I mean? I remember a couple of Christmases ago. I say a couple. It wasn't even this house. So it was like four years ago. I was like super duper ill. Like, I had like the worst flu. And my wife was away. So I was like dying on the living room sofa. Because uh, I'd rolled myself down the stairs at one point. Um, and Top Gear, I just started flicking through shows and Top Gear was the only thing that, that I could bear watching because it was just, I could what it could be on and take my attention. Um, and weirdly, this is before I started really watching YouTube series and like uh, Let's Plays and Twitch even, to be honest with you. Because I used to do Twitch and YouTube, but it wouldn't be part of my life. It, felt, it almost felt like a secret hobby. Like it was, a, it was a thing I did in private and then everything else happened. And now I'm like, as soon as I've got time, fucking YouTube goes on the TV, like the big TV and everything. Or Twitch or something like that. Although Twitch is a bit hit and miss sometimes, to be honest with you. Uh, as I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I, to be honest, friend, I've been wondering the same thing. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, 
So I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. Just open some fucking windows. Every now and then, just open some windows. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Also, no, you don't. You gen if this doesn't work for you, you can leave. It's not a prison. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this place into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. Lovely. Maybe we should shut the front door, he says. Now you can open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking. To my liking, you say. Open. Stereo. Oh, I, I can actually... Get why there. I can decorate. Wow, look what in the Tomb Raider menu is this? <laughs> Big fan. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I rotate this? I can rotate it. I have a. I don't feel like this is really giving me a lot of choice. Like, why am I doing this other than where? Also, where the fuck can this go? Oh, I can go in here. Uh, a de a dooved player. Oh no, I press something. I want the dooved player. I'm going to buy some dooves from whom? Uh, there we go. This is my cooling down hallway. <laughs> books. I had to. Uh, I wish books were that easy to fucking move. I had to clean, so I had to move a bookcase. So just out of shot here, um, I've I've put a Kallax unit up, which is one of the big square ones from IKEA. That was in the other room, and that it was full of books. And holy shit, if we move when we move house, we need a fucking library. I swear to God, we have a lot of books. We inherited a lot of books. Ah, key picture. Um, we've inherited a lot of books. That's I was gonna say key picture. That's massive, um, and we also have a lot of books ourselves. So we definitely need some sort of library when we move. That's going to go here. That's humongous. Oh, my days. Also, this feels like a lot of, like, her stuff, not his stuff. Like, I don't know many men who would keep cushions from one house to the, to the next, or vases, unless they have, like, fucking... You still have my Guild Wars books. I do still have your Guild Wars books. They're in, they're in the, one of the other bookcases. <laughs> so we've got two, two big bookcases. Um, one of which has, I'd say, predominantly my stuff, uh, and one of which has predominantly my wife's stuff in. Clock. That'll do. Cushion. Please tell me this is a new sofa. Please don't be sitting on previous owner's sofa. Oh, I, oh that's made me feel a bit unwell. Cool. So that's all of that, right? Does one already exist in America? Doesn't matter. Wait, what? I am always amazed by the ori how original Americans are when it comes to naming places. Oh, just grab any existing place and put new in front of it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, I think that was like what sort of happened, wasn't it? That we don't get to do the unpacking thing of seeing the, the box just disappear. Uh, it's okay. I was bringing boxes. Okay, yeah, cool. Hey, man, how you doing? Bro from brother-in-law. Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Go to bathroom? Bathroom's going to be an easy one, right? Open. Uh, laundry basket. There. Fuck. There. Uh, open. Medicine. There. Open. Trash bin. There. Fine. Put it in front of the bidet. I don't really think I care too much. I'll be honest. I'm. I like. The, I like the mechanic. I just don't feel like I care too much about the house to do this. What is this? Bath mat. There. Is this empty now? No. What was that? There. That'll do. <laughs> There are more than 10,000 streets named Main Street in America. Well, to be fair, there are thousands of London roads in the U in the UK because that that's the road you take when going to London. So they named it London Road. 
I was amazed to find out there are there are no less than four new Lisbons. We're not. I'm not judging anybody's sexuality. Uh, as the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting, disorient, disorienting, and extremely unsettling. <laughs> She's tuned into our channel. Uh, the man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He has a ring light in his eyes and he says, Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's your boy. <laughs> he appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just as inexplicably disappear beneath him. Oddly enough. I can feel them pulsating behind. Oh, be, be, beyond? Be, beyond? Be, I forgot. I've had a stroke. I think I'm having a stroke. Beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings that the man appears to be experiencing in that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching it. I'm, I'm trying to make this more involved, people. The camera shakes and glitches, and all time seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. He's become a TikTok star. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. Even worse, he's a fucking influencer. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family. This is his apology video. But he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight. And I can, sum, I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing with my own being as we somehow share consciousness. Influencer? Ooh, exactly. In the midst of his own turmoil. His mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen. And yet, I still feel like this was some this was needed somehow. Yeah, I don't. So imagine Nope. Imagine this game, but with like the building oh fuck off building 71 incident kind of vibe to it i think that would be quite cool less less typey typey as well like like x men said show don't tell this is very much a text adventure hi fucking pardon okay that genuinely made me shiver a bit uh, what? I'm just gonna go back inside. Yeah, quick note on influencers. I, I hate that somebody said, oh, so you're an influencer then. I hate the term influencer. I think you should inspire, don't influence. Be an inspiration, don't influence people. Don't make people do a thing. Do you know who else was an influencer? Cult leaders, that's who are influencers. Oh god, the TV's still on. Listen to Static. Static X, excellent band. <laughs> the TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the Static. Come closer. Is that someone crying? No. I heard a door though. Oh, good. This is the room. Wait, no, this isn't the room that was locked. I'm just going to unpack my stuff. Baby. Oh. Baby clothes, painting, 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 painting. Maternity photo album. Oh, no. I think I know what happened. I was worried. I was worried this might be the case. I'm certain I didn't bring... What was that? I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how it got here. Really? You've no idea. Lovely. Well, that's that sorted. F 
Fucking hell. How big's that box? Jesus. I'm gonna grab that box real quick. Bam. <laughs> Full fat computer on it. Uh, no. Gra yeah, grab. Open. The, the hello phone. Uh, and also a phone book. <laughs> I love... I see the... Um, a t it's a dot zip box? It is a dot zip box. Do you know I used to have a zip drive? Like back in the... Uh, I don't even remember when. Like late to, late 90s. I used to have a zip drive. The discs on it were massive. They were huge. Uh, a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person, my sister. Loved you. My sister loved you, man. Insurance prick. <laughs> This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that you, that your car has been declared a total loss. Can I reply to this one? Hello. All right. Now what? <laughs> I, I want to, literally. I've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Uh, grab the box. Put that just out of the way. All right. Let's go get jump scared. Oh, head off. Uh, Alright, now what? Insurance break. We are currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when you have an update. <laughs> See ya. I'm just gonna shut that door. Uh, sorry, what, what was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Of course it did. Of course it did. Uh, never had one. Was impressed at the capacity at the time, though, compared to, like, a 1.44 floppy drive. Yeah, that's true. I never used it for anything, like, beneficial. I think, like, it was a hand-me-down from my uncle. Um, when he, like, got rid of loads of stuff. Oh, good. So there's, there's a hole in the floor. Oh, God. What is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. Because you fucking left it, mate! I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Well, that's home ownership for you. This is literally home ownership. You don't, you don't want to look at it. It repulses you, but you've got to do something about it. This is, this is part of the court. This is the way, as they say. Also, how many bulbs do you have in your basement? God, the house builders from the fucking Phasmo neighborhoods could take a leaf out of your book. Alright, well, shall we go and try and get this door open? Oh no, it's this. Is it not this door? I thought it was that door. Maybe it's not. No, it's not. Well, I gotta continue. Uh, the door is gone. The game is called The Windows Gone. The door is gone. The, the, this window is gone too. The windows are gone. It's the name of the game. That window's gone too. That's fucking cool. I do, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Blender. Don't even know. Toaster. Again. Don't, what a weird looking toaster. Uh, I feel like such a grown-up. We recently bought a uh, matching uh, toaster. Oh, God. Matching toaster kettle microwave for the kitchen. Because we're, re we're renovating the kitchen at the minute. And I'm so excited. What the fuck is this? What is... What is this? This looks like someone... Something put... Something... Someone puts homemade wine in. Open. Pineapple plastic jar. Brilliant. The windows are gone. The windows are gone. He said the name of the game. <laughs> Have you bought... The, you bought the Doors Are Gone 2 DLC, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with my Windows subscription. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Calendar. Oh, wait. When is this set? 20... What? 2002? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. That's... <laughs> Fruit.png. Who brings fruit? Moving a house. Oh, wait. By the way, sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, from 983-964 to you. Who's this? It's going to be the wife. I'm telling you. Right, that's that room done. We've done that room, right? 
Interact. Oh, good. Turn it off. Can I open the door? I can open the door. Can I leave? I can't. Yeah, that window's gone. Yep. Yeah, that window is not there anymore. Let's go upstairs. Um, pretty sure there were windows here. That was definitely windows here. What sort of mobile mobile plans do they have in the afterlife? I don't. I honestly don't know. Uh, hello. James Sunderland's weapon of choice. Uh, a radio clock. Why am I bothering turning this around? I'm just fucking making work for myself. And a lamp. Uh, oh, fuck. A lamp. There we go. And the guest bathroom. It's a mat. And... Oh, God. A basket. Just put it anywhere. I don't think it matters. And a toothbrush holder. He says, put it anywhere, and then proceeds to carefully place stuff in specific places. Ah, oh, that, that, yeah, that, that'll uh, open. Oh, perfume? Wait, that wasn't there a second ago, I don't think. Right, so that's definitely empty now. Is that everything? A, a lamp that you can rub? <laughs> Who would have thought there was definitely a window here to inspect? Toolbox. An iron. I wish cleaning products that you got rooms like this in the UK. <laughs> so, a bucket and a vacuum cleaner. Low rent price, windows cost extra. <laughs> oh, we've got to do the hallway. A photo album, a picture frame, a sculpture, another picture frame, an encyclopedia set? Legitimately? Are we... Is this, like, um... Encarta? <laughs> That's three times I've mentioned that in the... I can't interact with the thing anymore. What's going on? What? Where is that noise coming from? My fiance and I were living in an apartment last year on the 13th floor. Came home one day and the windows were literally just gone. What? What? I'm going to need more context than that. The door is also gone. Nope. Wait, maybe it is. No. Creeblitz, you gotta you gotta give me more than that. You lived on the thirteenth floor and you literally things were just gone. Where is that knocking from? Where is that fucking knocking? They were supposed to replace the windows, but found out they got the wrong size, so instead of putting old windows back, they just plywood in their place? Oh my god. It's this way? Where is that noise coming from? Why can I not open anything? Why does it sound like something is knocking on this wall? And yeah, I can Maybe it's upstairs. Maybe it's upstairs. Maybe it's in this unit. Jump scare time? No? Can I move this? No? Ha this is weird, man. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I... Am I missing something? Can I 
now pick this up? No, I can't. I can't pick anything up. No. There's nothing in here. Pick up in Carter. It genuinely sounds like it's right here. I'm just going to make him go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Oh, no. I'll get used to this. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll, ha I'll have to do for now. What is going on? So now I learned in Carter stopped being a thing in 2009. I knew it was in the 90s, but I wondered how long indeed. But yeah, instead of just fixing the window issue, they forced us to move to a downgraded unit for the remainder of the lease. That shit. I'd like to leave this place, please. Wait, is there an attic that I've not seen? No? It genuinely sounds like there's something coming from behind that bookcase. But I can't I can't see anything. Like <laughs> There's nothing in the fridge. Oh wait, can I open these cupboards? Well, I can open these cupboards, but I don't know why because there's no noises here. Maybe the TV? No? No? <laughs> In before it's Hugo doing these noises. I would love that. I genuinely would love that. I wonder if it's downstairs in like the other corner. Oh, this window! Oh. I'm now locked in here? I see. Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. Oh no, I've, I've read this bit. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous, yeah. And now I can't leave? Oh no, I can't leave. Uh, hello. It's a beholder? Oh, that's a weird effect. Oh, it's coming it's coming from my face. Uh, something's locked the door. Uh, it's it's oh. Oh, I've been consumed. Oh wow. Where the fuck am I? Oh, oh it's the, the weird lines. Oh god. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I've just been bobbled. Oh, there's a man. Hello, friend. Hi, friend. Previous owner. Hi. How you doing? You doing all right? You look at weird resolution. You're facing away from me. I'm not. You're moving towards me. You're moving towards me. I don't like that. Oh, no, it's the wife. Wife. Hello, wife. Jump scare? <laughs> what if I just look away? <laughs> Hi! She is... dead? I'm just running. Oh! Oh, she's, she's gone. Oh, that was... That was... Uh, wah. That was weird. Am I now playing Door in the Basement? This feels so weird. Uh, he hello. Who's this? It was your fault. What? That was to Mum. Oh, the house is very different now. The house is upside down. Cool. Uh, such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? 
Now we play text message roulette. Which, where are we going to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's upside down. Good, good. Everything is awesome. Everything is upside down in this house. Cool. Oh! Hello? We're infinite... No, we're not infinite hallwaying. Oh, I'm back in the... Oh, good. Hi? Are you a thing now? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's... That there's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous, lightheaded and disoriented. It looks alive. You have a carbon monoxide leak? Can I leave this place? I can. Which then means I go back upstairs. Oh! Ooh, okay, that was... She was quicker than I anticipated then. I feel like my FOV has changed, like my frame of view. I like it. It's very cool. Uh, hi, honey, I'm home. Uh, I'm just gonna, can I just grab, can I ward you off with a tape? Hi. <laughs> I probably shouldn't look that way, <laughs> I'll be honest. Hi. Oh, there we go. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in the nightmarish, disoriented reflection of the man's tortured physique. Psyche, not physique. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings, somehow merged and played all at once. Dude suffering from mole poisoning, just like, no, it's ghosts, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful. It makes sense to me. The man's face and body are... Com We're not going to talk about the fact that your wife is literally Blair Witching. Reverse Blair Witching. Fucking Web Blitching. Uh, the man's face and body are completely distorted. Beyond recognition. If I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overweight. He's you. This, the man is you, okay? This is... This is the, the symbolism here is this is you. And you are in a cycle of guilt. I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain remembered... reverberated within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle against... Again, along with his. I don't see anything abnormal about that. You have a very strange relationship with your missus. Uh, uh, the fragments of his voice uh, reaching my ears like shards of broken glass. Speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe. Catastrophe? That was a weird way of saying it. Catastrophe that has shattered his world, just like mine. It you? In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitchy screen, the fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence. His torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in the crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. <laughs> Cat astrophy, yeah. Cat ass trophy. <laughs> The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting. I'm left grappling with my feelings of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. That man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. Remove tape. Are you... Do you do a thing now? Hello. I definitely shouldn't be doing that. Don't worry, YouTube. Do I need to go somewhere else now, too? Is this a, do you want an upside down snack? Upside down wife? No? Is this, am I going in here now? Is this infinite hallway again? Yum. Oh, it is. Oh, excellent. Let's go this way. We'd, oh, look, a picture. Inspect. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Huh. Oh, don't puzzle me. D what the fuck? Whoa, that noise. <laughs> I think these paintings were painted by Jessica, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, I, I gotta go.
there's a there's a fuppy thump. No, oh, that's all. I gotta go. I oh god, I'm going away. Can I to leave now? Can I go this way? Nice. Ah, oh, look, I'm in the basement. Fantastic. Close the fucking door. Ah, ex oh, look at this. It's now more slime. I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime. Yeah, we got that. Thanks. It be it fetus. It going to become baby. Yum. Anything in here? No. Anything in kitchen? Oh, very long kitchen. Oh, uh, lady? Madam? Talk! Hello. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know. That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica, do you remember that question I, I used to ask you? What does God look like? Oh, <laughs> so about the way she turned her head then. Yes, what does God look like? Huh, it's funny that you were never religious, but you always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really, and I really appreciate that, you know. Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. It was all my fault. I really miss you. I really miss you. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't. Ah, oh, pity. I wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now. Silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Yeah. So... Most likely, both mother and child died in the car crash and the husband blames himself. It may be the husband's fault. I don't know. Uh, uh there's no stairs. <laughs> I can't check on the baby. There's no baby checking. Is there anything in here I can do? No. Yeah, do you hear that? Our baby's crying, poor thing. I should go and check on the little girl. She's probably hungry. Go on, then. <laughs> Your shadow's weird. Uh, in here? No. In here? Is it a baby rancor? <laughs> that sound is your baby crying? It might be. That sound. There we go. Hi, Jessica. Look at you, honey. See, I told her. I told. Blah, 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 blah. See, I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely, we've barely been out recently. Come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Of course I miss you, honey. I think it's time to I let you go. Of course I miss you. Then I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much. She's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I will join you. Because that's I think that's what he would do. English accents can be weird. Don't judge. I don't know. I'm not judging. I thought it was funny that you put cat's astrophe. Uh, oh, I'm so glad, my darling. My, she's so hungry. I'll go ahead and feed her now, and I'll be waiting for you to join us. She will finally meet her daddy. You're going to get eaten by the blob, aren't you? Aren't you? Yep. Yeah, about that. I'm going to get some milk. Let family go! No, I didn't mean to! Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I was going to do it. I didn't think it would let me. <laughs> Not only did I let them go, I lied. That's the worst thing. What the fuck? Open. I was like, I should still leak. Now it's fine. Let family go. Yay. You, that's how therapy works, people. You just, you find a blob in the basement. You convince your dead wife to climb into it. And then you just let your family go. That's therapy. 
Right, can I get this fucking house? Leave the house. <laughs> are there like multiple endings? I'm assuming there are multiple endings to this. Definitely not going through all of that again. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ever since the accident. Guilt has haunted me. I like that all the items are where I actually left them. Oh, good camera work there. Why like that? So I built a labyrinth. Of course I did. Of course I did. I just, ran with it. I just built that by hand. And found my end. Ah, yes, the six stages of uh, grief. De six stages of grief: denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, and climbing into a blob for your unborn child. That's it. The windows are gone. I, uh, I assume that's the end. And the seventh stage: building a love. Yeah. And the eighth stage: getting out. <laughs> Achievements, you got the good ending. So you guys have four or five. Nice. We did really well. Game made by Scary Cube. Yeah, Scary Cube is really good. Like, really, really good. Considering this is basically, this is a one person operation. Like, if you enjoyed this game, please consider following me on Twitter. I already follow you on Twitter. Also consider supporting me on my Patreon. For Scary Cube. All games coming soon. I hope, I genuinely hope, all games coming soon. Uh, check it down a bit. While we do an outro for the YouTubes, assuming there's not going to be any more content. No more game? No more game. Awesome. So, I genuinely really like that. I, I think this is a good game. I think it's a rough around the edges story-wise, which is weird. It kind of feels like Scary Cube's gone the other way. So, like, they had Building 71 Incident where there was so little talky and lots of showy, no telly, right? <laughs> so I'm going to explain it like I'm five. Lots of show showy stuff and no talky stuff. Uh, where you were going around different parts of a building and different things were you kind of had to interpret a lot yourself. Whereas this, they do have a solid game here, but those VHS tapes, oh man, you gotta you gotta polish those out for the next game. Like if you have bits like that, don't have paragraphs of text, paragraphs of expositional text. Try your best. Almost have like, you know, static image with man looking at me in screen and then have bits of text at the bottom like you could cut that down a bit. i think anyway like i said i've never i never played i've never made a video game yet i never made a video game yet it's on my list of things to do this year on my year of many things um i am gonna make a video game i'm gonna make a game boy horror game at some point but that's in the, that's a different video for a different time but really enjoyed the atmosphere of the game i started to dislike putting the items away until I started putting the items away. And then I'm like, actually, this kitchen feels quite nice. I would have liked a way to have gotten rid of the cardboard boxes so it felt a little more like a home. Love this. Love what you're doing with the camera work and everything. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they come out with next, to be honest with you. Um, but if you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing over on YouTube. If you want to join everybody here in chat, we are live every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. BST over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming. But for now, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.